This is the Creative Market Free Goods right up for the week of December 8th, 2014. There are six different free goods this week, but they are free this week only. So if when you're watching this video, any of these items look like something you might have use for, be sure to check out the description of this video where I'll place links to each one of them. So I'm going to start at the top here with Aisling Serif, which is a font. This type is provided in true type font format, and it's a very cool Victorian style serif font. It's kind of something I'd expect to see in the cover of an old Sherlock Holmes book or something similar to that. If I zoom in a little bit closer on these letters, and as you can see, it does include both uppercase as well as lowercase letters. There's lots of irregularities on these letters, but all the actual edges of all these points seem to be pretty smooth. There's no really strange rough corners or edges, which gives this font an overall more polished appearance than ones that have very sharp corners where the actual distressed elements meet up together. And I actually really enjoy how these uppercase letters look. They're very bold in their appearance, and they all have a very strong presence on the page. I do think this font would work really nicely as a headline font just due to how impactful these overall uppercase letters are and it does include quite a few extra special characters if I highlight over this type and then go to type and then glyphs you can see all the included type characters it includes most of them but nothing really out of the order just the standard stuff you come to expect with most fonts I went ahead and typed up free goods run up so you can actually see how a sentence looks typed up it looks pretty good I might shrink down some of the gaps between the words if you're using this as a headline I think this is a great font to use if you're going for that vintage Victorian vibe and if you have a project in mind where you think this might come in handy pick it up this week next up is floral seamless patterns this pack includes 10 different seamless repeating floral patterns in both JPEG and EPS format. I have the EPS files open here in Illustrator, and I went ahead and repeated one just so you can see how it looks when you actually repeat one of these. It repeats very nicely. There's no noticeable seams, which is always a nice big plus. So you should be able to stretch these out to be as big as they need to be for whatever kind of project you happen to be working on. And I actually really enjoy the overall illustration style. If I zoom in a little bit closer here, it's nice and clean vector work, and there's a bunch of different variation in overall style of these patterns. So when you get these 10 different things, it isn't the same variation of flowers 10 times everything looks pretty unique amongst itself and there's some really smart uses of color too for example this one in particular the use of the white over just some of the petals where some of them have the actual background showing through I think is a really smart choice that adds quite a bit to this particular one and some of them also have some very impressive line work like this one right here a lot of really beautiful flowing lines that give a pretty elegant appearance this one right here also has very nice line work this one's a little bit busy for me but I think it's a pretty interesting abstract take on the overall floral pattern this one once again uses the white very intelligently leaving just little parts of the flower petals with the background showing through and of course you can use the direct selection tool and just select the background and change the background color to be whatever it is you want it to be if you want to customize these it's really quick and easy to go ahead and do that and I should note I did put all 10 of these on the same page just because it's a little bit easier for me to show it that way but each of these 10 files is included as its own separate EPS files so you can go ahead and work on them independently but I really enjoy the illustration style in these flowers I think they're handled excellently well and since they are seamless repeats, they'd work great on things like cards, packaging, anything where you want a floral theme, you can go ahead and extend these to be as big as they need to be to fit your project. So if you have any projects in mind where you think these seamless repeating floral patterns might come in handy, this is a strong recommendation for me to pick up for free this week. Next we have Vibrant, which is a one-page parallax scrolling theme. So this is a template for the Adobe program Muse, which I actually don't have any experience working with, but I believe it's an easy way to go in there and make changes to websites for people who aren't too familiar with actually coding them themselves. And it's called Vibrant because as you can see, it uses a ton of very vibrant colors. And as I go through this, keep an eye out for transitions. For example, this services page, as I scroll down into it, you can tell that it either loads or unloads depending on where I am on the page. So there's a lot of really cool little touches like that that add a little something special to this particular theme. There's a portfolio section where if you click on a particular image a light box will pop up and you can also scroll through all the different images in this particular portfolio using this light box and I'll just keep on scrolling down here here's a nice little subscription price that tends to be very nice if you use anything that has a subscription kind of service so either it's a web hosting or it could be tiered plans for a certain package. It's nice to have this in there for that, if that is something that you do. Here's a standard contact page with name, email, message, as well as a map at the bottom. And at the very bottom in the footer here, there's all the social buttons that you would come to expect. 
At the top here, you can click on any one of these buttons to go straight to that page. This is a one page scrolling parallax theme, which means everything is on one singular page. And then you can go ahead and scroll up or down as much as you want to see all the contents of the website. It's a really quick and easy way to scroll through all the content, but this menu on the top right here makes it that much quicker. And something else to note with this, this isn't a responsive theme, at least not a completely responsive theme. It does adapt a little bit depending on how big the browser is on your monitor, but I noticed when I shrunk it down really small, I'm not so sure this would be really friendly on, let's say, a mobile phone, something that small. So do keep that in mind if this is something you want to end up using. But if this theme looks like something you might have some use for and you have Adobe Muse, this might come in quite handy. So definitely pick it up this week while it's still free and hopefully you can make something cool with it These bottom three goods are free on Facebook to get them just hit this free on Facebook button Like creative market and then a download link will appear. It's super fast and easy to do So first up is breeze, which is a portfolio HTML theme so this is a very straightforward HTML portfolio theme. So you will need at least basic HTML knowledge to go in here and make some simple edits if you want to change around the type, as well as relinking all these different images. As you can tell, when I hover over an image, there is a rollover effect that I think works quite nicely. And if you click on any one of these images, it could take you to whatever page it happens to go to. In this case, it's a dribble page, but you could redirect the links of these pages to be whatever it is you think they should go to. At the bottom here, there's a hire me button, which if you click that, it'll open up whatever email client you have installed on your computer so people can contact you that way at the very top here there's a social link so dribble twitter email and then themes just happens to link to this author's creative market store and also something pretty interesting with this theme they do include photoshop files so if you want to go into the photoshop file and actually see how they gridded this out and created it in the first place it's a really cool way to learn how this particular theme was crafted for example all these different layers show how they group the files whatever effects they happen to apply to them so it's always cool when authors include little extras like that that can help you you not only create new stuff on your own, but also learn how they happen to create it. And I should also note, if I shrink this down here, this is a responsive theme. So it should look really good on no matter what device you're using, particularly if you're using mobile or tablet. It's always nice when a web page looks just as nice on a mobile device as it does a desktop PC. So if you're in need for a simple portfolio theme that gets the job done, and you have at least basic knowledge of HTML, so you can go in and make some simple edits on your own, this is a definite recommendation for me, and I'd suggest you pick it up this week while it's still free. Next up is UI Kit. So this UI Kit is presented in Photoshop format, so you will need Adobe Photoshop to use it. And first of all, I want to give a quick shout out to the author for very clearly labeling all these different folders as well as color coding them. It's really awesome that they did that. It makes it really fast and easy. For example, if I want to find this cart summary page, I just go on the cart summary folder, click it, turn it on or off. It's always awesome and people take the time to do that. So I'll zoom in a little bit closer here so you can see all these individual elements. And I think this will come in really handy to anyone who is trying to wireframe out a website inside Adobe Photoshop and wants little elements to quickly add to their pages to get the overall theme completed. And all these are fully customizable if you want to go in here and make changes. The effects that they apply to the particular things. In this case, I'm on the cart summary page, which is right here. So I can change on or off effects that are applied. So in this case, this layer right here is this white background with the outline to border. I can double click on stroke and change the overall color of the stroke to be whatever I want. If I want a bright blue, I can go ahead and do that. So this is fully customizable and quite easy to go in there and edit. And once again, everything in these folders is very clearly labeled as well as color coded. So it should be pretty easy to go in there and make changes. On this particular one, the profile card, there's a little mail icon that you could use separately if you want to, but there's little details like that inside the folder with little customizations, depending on if you want to use them or not. So make sure you go in there and check all those out if this is something you're interested in using. And I'll just go to the sign in page right here to show that inside the actual forms, in this case, this sign in button, I could go in here and change the type of sign in to be whatever it is I want it to be. I don't have this particular font installed, so it's probably gonna look wrong on my screen, but I can go ahead and change it up if I want to do that so just make sure you download any fonts that you're missing for this pack before you change the type but you could even change the fonts that are used on this presentation and change all the type that is used in this presentation to make sure it matches whatever website you're trying to mock up but a big thumbs up for me in this product particularly because everything was so clearly organized and color coded and also as a nice little side note they even made a colors bar on the side here that just shows all the different color palettes they use in this particular presentation. So that's a nice little cool addition to save people time when they're going through and working with stuff. So if this UI kit looks like something you might have some use for on any projects coming up, be sure to pick it up this week while it's still free. And last we have 40 files icons. 
So these icons are given in a Photoshop file, so you will need Adobe Photoshop to use them. And inside here you have 40 different icons to choose from. There's a folder called text that just shows the actual name of the overall file. You can go ahead and just turn that off if you want to, as well as a files folder that has all the different icons inside of it. And one more thing to note with this, this actually has a really cool background. It has a pretty cool dithered texture to it. So if you need a textured background that's pretty subtle, you could even just use this background layer right here as an element to put behind your designs. Each of the different rows of icons is inside its own folder here. So the top folder is one through 10, and then as you go down, it's each of the next layers of all these overall icon folders and I'll zoom in a little bit closer here so you can take a quick look at how these look every single icon has this kind of page turning look to it with separate icons inside of it so the theme is for various file types so if you're working on a project where you need to have a very cohesive icon set for all the different file types inside whatever it is you're working on this one might come in pretty handy and I'll just select one of these at random which is file 18 which looks like a cloud and I'll enlarge it really big so we can take a look at how it looks like as I enlarge it I did notice that the overall page itself stays really crisp and clear, but the icon itself, this cloud shape in the middle, tends to get really blurry as you enlarge it, so it looks like almost all this is a vector shape except the elements in the middle, although you probably don't need to enlarge icons really huge. They should be sized appropriately for most applications, but it is something to kind of keep in mind when you're working with these icons. But if you have a project in mind where you need a whole bunch of cohesive icons that are all built around the idea of being presented as a file, this might come in really handy. Perhaps you're working on an application where you need to have a nice set of icons that can really work together as a family. This is a great choice for that. So if you do have a project in mind where you think these might come in handy, pick them up this week while they're still free. So that's it for this week's free goods, and do remember they are free this week only. So if when you watch this video, any of these items look like something you might have use for, be sure to check out the description where I'll place links to each one of them. And as always, if you like this video, please like and favorite, and if you want to see this video every week, please subscribe. This video is released every Monday to let you know what's free this week on Creative Market. Thanks for watching.